This week, we're after quite a specific prize. The worst thing to show the taskmaster. Mm. The taskmaster will decide which prize is best, or in this case, the worst thing to show him. And that person will get five points. The person with the most points at the end of the show will walk away with all five things. Capiche? Is that to me? Yes, Capiche. <laughs> yes, Capiche. <laughs> Who's up first? Angela. I brought a book that's filled with comments of what Taskmaster is going to be like. <laughs> to be, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's one comment. It won't be as good as the UK one. They chose someone who isn't remotely funny. <laughs> <laughs> that one's anonymous. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but I personally think he is a reminder of how New Zealand needs to move on. Oof. It's going to be interesting to see the scoring tonight. <laughs> Angela, oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. I mean, I don't even have an internet subscription because I don't want to read comments about me, so don't bring them in. That is the last thing I want to say. So uh, definitely, Angela, you get five points for that. Well done. Hello, Guy. What's up? Hi. Hello, Brinley. Paul, how are you? How are you? My glasses. My whistle. Oh. The iPad. <laughs> My bow tie. My jacket. <laughs> wow. It's really attached to that whistle. He forgot his iPad. Is this on purpose? Should I read this? Should I wait for him? <laughs> oh, I believe we got a little bit of a preview of the task there, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. Would you like to read it again? Yes, please. Leave the room. Fastest wins. Your time started when Paul left the room. <laughs> Who's first? We're going to start with two guys and a gal. One guy is called Guy. Their initials spell gal. It's Guy, Angela, and Lee. <laughs> My bow tie. <laughs> I'll wait for Angela. Was he doing a joke? Hello? Wait. <laughs> Sorry. That part of it isn't. <laughs> Do I open this? <laughs> Leave this room, fastest wins, your time starts. <laughs> Boo to that one. <laughs> Fuck this game, eh? Thank you, guy. Leave the room. Fastest wins. Your time started when Paul left the room. <laughs> oh, so I've already done it, but I came back. That's that one. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. How do you think that went? I'm so confused. So why did you come to see me? Uh, because I wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine, thanks. Cool. But you actually did figure your... Water. Yeah. You seen it? No. Oh, Angela, that was nice. You, you seem genuinely concerned for Paul. Yeah, I think I won because I was a good human being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just... Don't pander to her bullshit. <laughs> you guys showed an unusual amount of patience. It's got to be said. <laughs> I had genuine concern for my brother. I thought he'd just forgotten his jacket and wanted to wait for him because I'm the real nice person, not like Angela's <laughs> bullshitting. How did everyone go? Guy, 26.12 seconds. Lee Hart, 24.5 seconds. Angela, 7.14 seconds. 
And how did you feel? I mean, did you feel Angela's concern? I was getting a lot of confusion, I think. <laughs> yeah. From, from everyone, there was a lot of confusion, and especially Lee, who uh, I claim to have forgotten my glasses. Never worn glasses. <laughs> Tonight, they were asked to bring in the best thing within a thing. Angela, what did you bring in? Um, I, I brought in a chicken, like a, a, a roasted chicken. Nice. And inside is an egg, and it's all made from um, cake. So hold on. That's, That's not a, a cake that looks like a yeah. chicken. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And what's inside the cake that looks like a chicken? What's inside it is an egg. Or what is it? Okay, I didn't realise it was going to be a hypothetical question. <laughs> so it's a, a chicken that looks like a cake, but with an egg, an actual egg? Yeah, so egg? there's an egg inside that's also cake. Like the ingredient. So, so is the. <laughs> so is the egg one of the ingredients in the cake, or have you baked an egg into this cake? No, no. So there is egg inside the cake, which is the egg. Yes. Okay. Oh, I see. And this is, this is a chicken made from. Made um, from eggs. No. It's <laughs> pretty remarkable, you'd have to say. I mean, we've been spending 25 minutes talking about it. Yeah. So if you look inside it, unfortunately, no, I, the thing is... I think rice, we've got the vibe. The Rice Krispies. <laughs> Brindley, we, yeah. we have to move on. I wish we didn't, but we have to move on. <laughs> Hello, guy. How's it going? How are you? Good, thank you. Hmm? Yeah? Oh! What's this in? I regret doing that. Be as unhealthy as possible. You have 10 minutes to plan, then 10 seconds to be unhealthy. Your 10 seconds will start when you shout, Let's get this party started! Unhealthiest wins. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started! Wait, you're starting? Oh, I've got 10 minutes. But you just, you just yelled it. Oh, sorry, OK. I'll, I'm going to retract. Can I retract that? You, you did just shout it, though. I know, but I'm going to retract that. That's all right. It's, yeah, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you. 10 retract. minutes. I think everything I am right now is unhealthy. We're not allowed to break the law, eh? Because, like, some pee would be really helpful right now. I'm thinking of drinking a bottle of meth. Just standing here in the sun is pretty unhealthy. Like, naked. I could get naked. I'm not going to get naked. Not going to happen. Can I just chew on some asbestos? So fat isn't that bad. Maybe it's carbs. Maybe it's bread. Mmm, lazing around, pulling out your eyelashes. Am I allowed to climb onto the top of the caravan? I think about something really unhealthy. I guess you could have un unhealthy relationships with people. Yeah. I'm quite a healthy guy, sort of naturally, so it's going to be hard to pull that back. <laughs> dead. Being dead? Well, yeah, if health is alive, then unhealth must be dead. Don't do it. I like that. Unhealth must be dead. More sound logic has never been spoken on television. <laughs> Brinley smoked one cigarette. Madeline smoked 30 times that many. If that trajectory keeps up, we're about to watch Angela smoke 900 cigarettes. <laughs> Please tell me that's the case. Not quite, but she may as well have. Here's Angela being unhealthy. Let's get this party started. Angela died <laughs> drowning in a vat of butter from a heart attack. Her last moments were spent stalking her ex-boyfriend's girlfriend on Insta and replying to a dick pic, R.I.P. <laughs> Do you feel unhealthy? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> How far through the eulogy did you actually get? I read it all, but I just, yeah, my pacing was a bit off for the last little RIP bit. You pulled it great. There's a weird thing going on between you two. Yeah, I was going to bring that up again, Jeremy. Are you a bit worried about this dynamic? How it's There's starting no dynamic. to. <laughs> yeah, it's a dynamic. There's, uh, now it's started getting into that kind of German kind of death porn thing. <laughs> German porn? <laughs> oh my god, not for me. I like them alive. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. What 
what's up next? <laughs> Hello, Madeline. Hi, Paul. How's it going? Good, thank you. Good. Ooh, it's a bit of a mystery. Do you want me to open the suitcase? Yes, please. Okay. Have you hidden the, some sort of trick here? No. Trick suitcase? Regular suitcase. Is the challenge open the suitcase as quickly as possible? No. Those are two round bits? Yeah. Push those outwards. Oh, it's like a trick suitcase. I think it's a regular suitcase. No, it's a trick. Everyone who comes and does this must struggle with that. <laughs> and all that just to get one thing. Ridiculous. OK, here we are. <clears throat> Go on the most convincing fake holiday. Most convincing fake holiday wins. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. A fake holiday. A reminder, of course, that these tasks were filmed before the COVID-19 pandemic <laughs> and now all holidays have become fake holidays. <laughs> we have one more trip and it's Angela Dravid and she's kind of made a travel blog kind of vibe. I'll show it to you. Here it is. <laughs> I'm waiting for the train and, uh, oh, this is it here. Say, as this series has gone on, your acting has just gone from strength to strength. <laughs> for me, that train sequence when you were waiting for the train and then you went on, that was a very high standard right there. <laughs> Would you like to see a little behind the scenes magic? Oh, give me more of that. Okay. Give me more. How are we going to make this look like a train? You could just say you're waiting for the train. I'm waiting for the train and, uh, oh, this is it here. <laughs> see you. I need to get movement. So. Right. Do you want me to make sound effects or...? Yeah. Right, I think that's all, yeah. Pardon? That was it. OK. This kind of looks like a plain window. We've got a flight. We've got a train passport. I don't have a passport. You ready? Mm -hmm. You happy with that? <laughs> yeah. OK, thank you, Angela. <laughs> well. Tonight, they were asked to bring in the least useful item. Angela, what did you bring along? I bought in a chapstick um, <laughs> for your... <laughs> You brought um, along chapstick for, for your, your labia. Labia. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's just a, I think it's strawberry scented. <laughs> Nothing worse than chap lips, um, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, you really don't want to get a dap. What's, What's a, a dap? dap? A dry ass pussy. So <laughs> <laughs> something like that is really good to have. Should we move on from this? Yeah. <laughs> Lee, what did you bring in? Well, <laughs> Angela might enjoy my one, actually. This could be quite helpful. Um, so we've got this, this nozzle spray thing, which How I've got... How dry do you think my pussy is? <laughs> That's got mist, it's got soaker, it's got jet, it's got Those spray. Those are the same settings I have. <laughs> Congratulations. We are in episode six, and it's the first time that you have made a task not feel uncomfortable. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, at least you can make the bit after the task feel uncomfortable. I'm blown away. I didn't think you knew how to use Photoshop. Awesome. I don't.
You'll see the same tree five times. <laughs> Do I really make tasks uncomfortable? <laughs> it feels normal. On oh, one of the ones you brought along, like, vaginal fucking lipstick, remember that? It's not my problem you find vaginas uncomfortable. Oh! I, I can see now that the problem is me. <laughs> oh. Hello. Cooey. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Hi, how are you? You know, Paul. <laughs> you, Paul. I'm scared to open this. Make this mum proud. You have five minutes to interview the mum. Then 20 minutes to make her proud. Proudest mum wins. Your time starts now. You're a mum. Uh, what sort of achievements have your kids had? My daughter, who's a um, director of training for MAC Cosmetics, and she left that after 20 years, and um, her and her husband have now gotten to a bed and breakfast in Harrogate. OK. So I've just got to work for MAC Cosmetics for 20 years and then um, stop there and start running a bed and breakfast, and then you'll be proud of me. <laughs> It's not a bad idea, is it? <laughs> so, uh, whose actual mum is that? Doesn't matter whose mum it is. What matters is that they made her proud. Her name is Maria. She has three children biologically and five more that she adopted against her will approximately four months ago. <laughs> this comes from renowned mum fan Angela Dravid. Would you say one of the proudest moments of being a mother was giving birth? Oh, yes, definitely. Right. I'm trying to do the umbilical cord, but I don't think this is what it looks like. Hey, would you feel more comfortable being the baby or the mum? I really don't mind. How good are you at crying like a baby? I mean, it's kind of a hard thing to gauge, really. Can you try it? It sounds like a siren. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or something. That was pretty good. So, <laughs> so you can be the mum. Oh, it doesn't really work. <laughs> it looks like a dick. <laughs> oh, it's very cold. <laughs> Pass me the water bottle. Okay. Hey, okay, you ready? Is mum able to hold your hand? Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> oh <my God>. <gasps> <gasps> Tap your foot when your water breaks. <gasps> I don't know what's It was a pretty good birth. <laughs> yeah, I'd be very proud. <laughs> Thank you. It was a good effort. I have no words for that. What you didn't see is that I did get nursed. <laughs> by... By... Paul? Do we not have a, a reel of this? I don't think we should see that. <laughs> the interactions between these two during this series have become more and more disturbing for me. Now you are giving birth to Angela. You know what I think he did capture really well, though? It's not like they do it in the movies. You, you really had a silent pain, which I really appreciate. I think your acting is just like... You know what I mean? I really think we should give Paul Williams a round of applause for his fantastic performance. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Great commitment. And uh, if I'm going to score that, you've got to get five points. Uh, it's so impressive. <laughs>